Hi guys! So I was all set to do a DIY candy dish for Valentine's Day today and then I kind of ran out of time so lucky for me I got my mail and in my mailbox was my spring soap box. If you don't know what this is or if you've never heard of it, it is by the company Fortune Cookie Soaps which they are an online company. I'm not sure if they have stores. If they do, they don't have any near me. They send out a box every four months. This one is the spring box. It is a subscription service. They cost $20, but you get a coupon code for $10 off your next purchase on their website. So it's $20, but you get a coupon for $10 off. So I think it's a great deal and something that I have utilized for um, almost a year now. So I really enjoy it and I would highly recommend it. So before I even opened this box, it smells so good. I don't know what's in it to make it smell like that, but it smells so good. It smells like candy. So this is what it comes with and this is what it looks like. It says Spring Soap Box 2014. By fortune cookie soaps it has pictures of everything that you get in here and then on the back it has descriptions of everything that you get okay so this is the garden of good and the garden of evil that's their theme for this spring it says the goods rainbows butterflies fig leaf bikinis we're not gonna lie the goods gave us a run for our money but we think we're, we've done the garden of good justice with three fragrances that are pure, angelic, and virginal. You know, all that good stuff. And it says, the evils. Yeah, baby. It's the strangest thing. But once we started on the evils, they just came naturally. Weird, huh? We don't know what evil smells like, but we're betting it goes something like this. And then there's one, two, three, four, five different scents for the evils. So what they do is they let you sample the scents, but they also let you sample products. This has, I think, eight different products in it. They're all different products that they have on their website, and everything smells different. It's really cute. They usually have something like little special things in here, and because it is for springtime and it is the garden of good and evil, it, come, it came with little flower petals. And the first thing that catches my eye is from the Garden of Evil and this is called Make It Rain Whipped Cream. This caught my eye because I absolutely love their whipped cream. It kind of reminds me of like baby powder but not quite, I don't know, some kind of powder that I've smelt before. So this is in the scent Make It Rain so let's see what they say about that. It says grab your umbrella Sparkling droplets of citrus and jasmine dripping with musk clutched by bloated cedarwood bots. Maybe it's the jasmine I smell and that's what reminds me of a body powder. Mm -mm, not really my favorite scent, I don't think. But their whipped creams are body, they're basically body butters and they are my absolute favorite thing. Usually that's what I'll buy. I'll pick what's my favorite scent and then I'll buy one of their sugar scrubs and a whipped cream in that scent. I like the product, not so thrilled with the scent. The next thing I see in here is this thing that's shaped like a flower that's kind of broken up, but it's a pale pink flowery thing. It's not labeled with what it is, but let's see if we can figure it out. Okay, I think this one's called the Bloom Bloom Room Bath Fizzy. I think that's what this is. This is a bath fizz. And it says, a strip club for flowers? I want to go. The simple, sweet combination of jasmine lilac and lily of the valley, darkened with throbbing musical notes and fresh peach and citrus, all swirling around poles of decadent spun sugar. I want to smell this. It is a little bit floral, but still fruity. It reminds me of like a bath, so that's good. Something to try anyway. This, one of these I've tried before. They had it in one of their other boxes. This is called Me So Thorny. Steam Me Up Scotty. 
Yeah, it has patchouli in it. That was the first thing I thought of when I smelt it. It smells like um, the store in my mall called Crouching Tiger or Sleeping Tiger or something like that. But this is called Me So Thorny. And it says, me love you long time. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Citrus, lavender, and French vanilla, corrupt by a dark shadow of patchouli and sandalwood. For me, I think the patchouli and the sandalwood is what I smell most. And that's not really my favorite thing either. Probably not even something I'll use, but I'll give it to one of my friends or my sister who will most likely use it. I have a little Garden of Evil Make It... Oh, nope, that's not right. It says Garden of Evil Make It Rain Whipped Cream, but that is not what this is. That's what this is. So they must have mislabeled this, but it is the Venus Flytrap Perfume Oil, and this smells like bergamot, narcissi, what or something like that, and musk. Lurk beneath the delicate notes of water orchid, sparkling lemon, and pink jasmine. I can smell the jasmine in it. That's not too bad. Probably not something I would wear personally, but it doesn't smell too bad. This, ooh, sounds good. This says Garden of Good Marshmallow Dreams Cuticle Butter. And anything that smells like marshmallows, oh yeah. That smells good. <laughs> it's very sweet. It has kind of like a frosting, vanilla frosting scent to it. This says, lavender sprigs draped over sage and basil, lined with a splash of vodka, and a swirl of sticky sweet marshmallow fluff. So I don't know, maybe it's the marshmallow that I'm smelling that makes it, because that's the only thing I can smell. But it smells super good. I like that. They gave me a Garden of Good Native Nectar Body Wash. And it just looks like this. And it smells like coconut. That's what I'm smelling out of that. And it says, yep, fresh cracked coconut. No machete required. And that's pretty much what it smells like. Coconut. Ooh, I like this one. Uh, they gave me an, uh, they call them OCD hand sanitizers. This one is in, um, the Garden of Good, and this scent is called Afternoon Delight. I can't pick out a scent. It smells a lot like alcoholy cleaning your hands stuff. But this is supposed to smell like pink watermelon dancing with fresh apricots crowned in white florals. So I'm going to put some on to see if I can smell it better that way. Scent, so I think if I rub it in, it will make that scent disappear a little bit. Oh yeah. They smell like watermelon now. Like, almost like a watermelon Jolly Rancher is what it kind of smells like to me. But at the same time, it has like flowers. It's very spring. That's what it makes me think of. And then the last thing in here, they always send one of their fortune cookie soaps in their boxes. This is the one that I have, and it is in the scent Forbidden Fruit. Ooh. It is a neon yellow and kind of like a periwinkle color. This is what, this is exactly what I smelled when I opened the box. It smells really good. Mmm. So this scent is supposed to smell like dusky verbena creeping over fresh blueberry skins and lemon zest. I think the lemon is what I smell, but I also smell blueberry. Mm, this smells so good. I think this is probably my favorite scent is the forbidden fruit one. Or I really liked the marshmallow. Marshmallow dreams and forbidden fruit. Those are my two favorite scents. Um, leave a comment down below. Let me know if you got a fortune cookie soap box and let me know what your favorite scent is or let me know if you've ever tried one of the products from fortune cookie soaps and what are your favorite products. Like I said, I really enjoy their sugar scrubs and I really enjoy their body butters. Um, I'm excited to try out their cuticle butter. I think that'll be really interesting to try out. And like I said, you would get all of these samples 
and then you get a $10 off coupon code for the next time you order. So I really like it. I highly suggest you try it. The next box comes out May 12th. That is going to be their summer box. And this line will not, it's not out yet. I'm not finding anywhere on the website right now that tells me when this um, collection will be available. But as soon as I find that out, I will leave an annotation somewhere on the screen and probably the date down in the description box below. I hope everybody is having a great Valentine's Day and I will see you guys real soon. Bye!